Everybody wake the fuck up. So one of the worst, if not the worst head offices in the NFL just trade away their best defensive tackle, one of the best players on defense, for a fifth round fucking pick! A fifth rounder! A fifth rounder! All right, how about this? How about this? Oh, my my heart was fucking racing. Why are they doing this to me, bro? Why are the Giants, oh, the Giants head office? We're going to say that much. The Giants head office. Okay, so, all right, how about this? The trade deadline is on Tuesday. On Tuesday. They're going to do all this right now with no signs of anything. Trade deadline to yesterday, Eli Apple's gone. I said, I'm not even too mad about that. Whatever. Hey, players come and go. It was Eli Apple. Not but a fucking fourth round for next year and a seventh round for 2020. I'm sure we could have got way more than that. And today, at approximately 745, I don't know. I was not expecting that. Alerts on for uh, Ian Rappaport. And, oh, Damon Snacks. And, oh, I, oh, my God. That was the longest tweet I ever read in my life. I saw Damon Snacks, and I saw a hashtag traded, and I was like, What? Uh, uh, this head off. Uh, Dave Gettleman. Dave Gettleman. Oh, freaking. Oh, hog lies. Hog mollies. I love mollies. Lies. Freaking lies. Th top defensive tackle. Top three, at least. Top five. Yeah, top five, at least. Top three. I don't, top three, top five. Name name five defensive tackles better than Demon Stacks Harrison. I know people are going to say Fletcher from the Philadelphia Eagles. The Dominic Sue. Keep going. Act like, act like Demon Stacks Harrison is not a top uh, defensive tackle. You're f lying because my crappy ass friend Chauncey wants to hit me with a DM talking about things. F you, Jet. F toll. Oh, I hate. Oh my god, bro. I don't want to say I hate this. I can't say that. I, that can't come, come out of my mouth, bro. It's, why, oh, why is this happening? Why is this happening? I can't. Oh, John Mayer is making me sick right now. John Mayer, I never really see much of Steve Tish. Never see much of Steve. Whoever's idea this was. I'm not sure if Dave Gettleman... Oh, Dave Gettleman's letting it ride, of course. I don't know whose idea. Why Demon Stacks out of all the people? And for a freaking fifth rounder! A fifth round pick! And you know what else? You know what? They only say four mil, four mil salary cap. And then for next year, they have 3.2 mil in dead space. So you're telling me you say four mil now just to waste three mil... You know, that's whatever. It's whatever. Let it be. Let it be. They, I feel like they don't want to win. I don't... I can't, bro. I can't. Who's next? So who's next? The freaking trade deadline is on Tuesday. The trade deadline is on Tuesday. Who's next to go? Based on the next player that's traded, if somebody is traded, it's going to tell me whether or not they actually care or if this the whole Giants franchise is just a piggy bank. Because you know what? I'm going to share something with you, though. Like, you know how the Mega Millions up to, like, $1.6 I want to know the Giants net worth. I saw that. I don't know what made me do this, but I saw $1.6 or whatever. I was like, how much is the Giants uh, net worth? I think it was, like, $3 billion or something like that, close to it. And I was like, you know, I was thinking, oh, if I hit the, the Mega Millions, you know, buy the Giants. But there's taxes and that's how effed up the team is right now. It's like I want to buy the Giants and I almost tweeted out, oh hey, let's all put our money like how a pool. Let's all put in our money or whatever, buy lottery tickets, then buy the Giants. I didn't tweet it out because of course it wouldn't be enough money to buy the damn Giants. So I guess it's just a big piggy bank for them. I don't care how disrespectful that comes off. All right, I need some explanation. They, so in the next couple of hours, they're gonna interview them, maybe, and this is gonna be all over ESPN or whatever. You can't tell me he wasn't one of our best players on defense. If not. If not, arguably our best players on defense. No disrespect to Landon. Landon, uh, no disrespect to Landon. Freaking Janor's been kind of shaky lately. So arguably, Snacks is our best. Not like run defensive wise. If you pay to, and also having the heart to play every game. Like he's one of the players who actually has that fire to win, who wants to win, who actually cares. I, I can't, man. I still can't get over this. Like, cause my heart dropped. My heart is shaking. My like, bro, I don't like that. I don't like that. If that's what's, if that's what's happening to me, like, is. <sighs> Is anybody else sitting well with this? You know what's crazy? Somebody else said this in the comments that Snacks is going to be the next to be traded or they wanted Snacks to be traded. Anybody was calling him an idiot. But still, I still think it's still dumb. It's still dumb because everybody's saying WTF. Uh, all the other teams are laughing at us. If it, if it was like Eli Manning or somebody, or I'm just using that name. I say I really want Eli to be traded, but I ain't going to even go there because I don't want people putting words in my mouth and stuff. So if it was Eli, people would be like, oh, about time or, uh, da, da, or what we get back or whatever it is. I'm pretty sure some Giants fans we have about that or whatever. If it was him, it would be the, all that. But if I mean, now with Snacks, people are laughing at us, freaking Jet all line. I know line. A fifth! A fifth round pick! Like, I don't care. I don't even care no more. Like, I, 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 I'm at, like, I, I don't even care. Like, it's, it's whatever. It's like, it, it may suck being a Giants fan now, man. And so they're really, I've said this before, I mean, I've said this only once before, I can't remember which video it was, like a year ago, year and a half ago, they really tested my loyalty.
they're testing. I don't like it either because they know no matter what. Like I used to say back in high school, oh, the Giants went 0-16. I was still loving my line. People know it too. And now they're putting me to the test right now. It's like, you know, religion, oh, God testing your faith. They put you into a whole lot of crap. Like some in the story. I'm not trying to get religious. I know people hate that. It was like the story of a uh, job or Job. However, it's like J-O-B, but a story of job where freaking uh, God and the devil make a bet. And it's like freaking, oh, uh, Oh, let me take the let the God let the devil take all this from Job, his family, his crops, or whatever he got took from him, and God gave him double back. So it's like, is this a test right now? But I ain't coming from God though. This ain't oh my God. I, all I keep thinking about is Dave Gentleman. Oh, I love my hog mollies. This that oh, you're lying! You're lying! You had one of the best defensive tackles in the league! In the league! This sucks, man. I I keep saying I can't. Ron, you can't what? I can't take it, bro. I can't. Well, apparently I can. This, why, like, why is this happening? Like, why? Like, I need some. It was just for a fifth. He's at least worth a second. At least worth a second. Oh, another, and that's the thing. I'm so dumb. Like, because in the first week, just said he's been traded. I want to know what they got back. I thought, like, yo, we're getting Darius Slay. Like, oh, just get rid of, we get, they just got rid of Eli Apple. So are we getting Darius Slay, you know, even trade? That's crazy. But you wouldn't even make that pick. Well, not, I would say you're not even make that trade in fantasy football, but you don't take picks like that. Like, oh, oh, for a fifth. For a fifth. That was not worth it all. Not worth it at all. Not worth it at all. Man, every team's going to put up 100 yards on us now. I'm calling it right now. Call, I don't even care. I will not be disappointed if the Giants start uh, lose more games, but I'm not even disappointed. Not even disappointed. Now, so y'all know some idiots going to be like, oh, they're tanking this out. Oh, they don't want to hear that crap. Well, you can say that dumb stuff, but you're just going to say it on the keyboard. You won't say that out loud and a group of people have because you look dumb. Because people say stuff in private and they won't say it in public because they know it's like, you know, <sighs> unbelievable. Maybe I'm overreacting. <laughs> well, no, I'm not overreacting because my heart dropped. So when your body does stuff like that, that's like showing you're caring and stuff. You know, it's like when your body does stuff unintentionally, it, it's it's the truth to it. It's the truth to it. You know what I'm saying? You're like, you know whether you care or not. So I'm not overreacting. That's, that, that was a natural reaction to my body. So that's not, that's, oh my. Well, maybe Snacks, the, snacks deserves better. I thought about this too with Eli Apple. It's like, oh, Eli, Eli Apple got traded to the Saints. Feel like last season he didn't care. You know, all oh, the reporters, you know, oh, did Landon talk to you? Oh, no. Oh, they asked more questions. Oh, I got to take a you know, oh, lost a locker room, and then him and Landon was beefing. We talked about this yesterday, so it's like I'm pretty sure that he might be happy to be on the Saints because most likely they're going to go to the playoffs. And so maybe Snacks might be happy to be on Lions. I don't know what their record and stuff is, but hey, he deserves better. How about that? Yeah, so Snacks, they thought you were worth only a fifth round pick. You deserve better. You deserve better. They thought that you were only worth a fifth round pick. You should be happy to go then. So I wish you the best, Snacks, but I'm stuck with this team because my loyalty is too strong. But in this generation, you know, you're dumb with loyalty. Trust me, I've been tested in my past many, many times. People act like loyalty is a bad thing in, in this world we live in. But hey, whatever. Whatever. Oh, this freaking team, bro. This team going to be the death of me. Literally. I don't know how, what way. This sucks. <laughs> this sucks. Ah, who's going to be next? Who's going to be next? Who's your money on, guys? Let me find out it's Landon Collins or like... Who, who hasn't signed like a major, major contract, bro? Let me find out they trade Landon Collins next, bro. Go down to that damn stadium. It was for a fifth round, bro. I understand players get traded and stuff and cut and all that for a fifth round pick. A fifth round pick, bro. Like, those are the scraps of the draft. Let's all keep it real. Well, I'm not going to say it like that, but... Because, oh, Ron, a lot of great players came out of, like, later rounds. Antonio Brown came out late rounds. Tom Brady, I get it. I get it. Like, you never know where you're going to find talent. But let, come on, bro. Come on. The first, second rounds, you know what I'm saying? It's like, those, those are the money. Those are the money. Also, depending on who... Oh my, it's almost like I'm flipping my words to this. I've always said, oh, it's not, it's not uh, when you draft, it's who you draft. To battle back against all the people talking about that tanking talk. That's true, but a fifth rounder? Like, only one, two. And it's taking a gamble. It's literally taking a gamble. Like I said, like, you know, a fifth round, because you don't know, it's, it's a gamble, because you don't know who's going to be good. You can find talent anywhere. It's not when you draft, it's who you draft, but you don't know who's going to be good until they do their thing on the field. Giants pride. 
Yeah, this, oh, this is dumb, bro. Like, I feel like this like intentionally trying to hurt us. Like, obviously it's not. Obviously it's not like intentionally trying to hurt us, but it, it seems that way. Like, I need a fifth round. That's it, though. That That's it. Just a fifth rounder. I'm going to be saying that for hours now. Just a fifth rounder? Whatever. I hope, I, I hope this doesn't turn me evil, bro. Like, I do my best to be respectful on here. Try my best not to talk bad about players. Only when it's necessary. Like, the last person I went off was Nate Solder. Who, you know, how much he's getting paid, all that stuff. And then, you know, not blocking. They can take it personally if they want to. Like, so I had this conversation before with somebody. Oh, what if you ever met Eric Flowers? This and the other. Let Eric Flowers, well, he's with the Jaguars now. Let him look me in the eye and tell me that he thought he was blocking okay. You know what I'm saying? So... <sighs> You can't get mad at me for how I feel. Like, who gave the go on this? You ever think about how something was created? How was this idea created? Oh, okay, trade deadline's coming up. Are you going to get, uh, maybe see it really, Eli Apple? And like, all right, yeah, Eli Apple, he's been kind of, you know, let's trade him. And then, oh, but that's what they got was a fourth for this, uh, for the 2019, and then the upcoming, then 2020 is seven. And now it's, okay, so who we got next? Uh, Damon Snacks, Harrison. Like, no one said what? No one said timeout. Wait, did you just say Snacks? Or did you say, like, like, What? <sighs> Jersey. So I stay clean. You ain't even playing the game and you talking like you skip Bayless. Criticize he who made it, calling it entertainment. Difference with you and Skip is you ain't the one getting payments.